Typhoon Hagibis has rapidly intensified over the course of the last 12 to 24 hours and is now a massive Category 5 storm with our estimated winds of 180 miles per hour and a pressure of 896 millibars. And this storm is continuing to strengthen at this time. On the CDPS scale, we're looking at Anatahan for early tomorrow. It's now a stage 9 on the CDPS, owing mainly to its wind speed, but also could deliver 12 inches of rain to some of these islands, which puts it just short of stage 10, the highest on the CDPS. The wind field isn't the largest, that's probably what's stopping it from being the highest on that scale. And there's its current position, 16 degrees north, 146.8 degrees east. It's 89 miles and comfortably close to Saipan, 101 from Tinian, 163 from Rota, 212 from Yigo on Guam and 223 from Hagatna. And as you'd expect, typhoon warnings are in effect still for those islands, Saipan, Tinian, Alamagan and Pagan Islands. A tropical storm warning in effect for the rest of the Mariana Islands, including Guam now. Um, even though I think the storm will remain far enough away not to deliver tropical storm force winds, at least not for very long there. This is what's expected over the next seven days in terms of rainfall. So we're looking out for any pink areas there which denote three inches of rain or higher. And quite clearly most of that is o over all of those um, northern Mariana Islands and Guam. So massive amounts of rain expected on all of those islands could cause some flash flooding concerns along with those strong winds. And then the storm will eventually move up towards Japan where it could deliver even higher amounts of rain when it gets there, but we'll talk about that in a future update. Sea surface temperatures around 29 degrees Celsius. That is the main fuel that has allowed this storm to intensify so rapidly. The models were right. So many of them calling for a Category 5. That has occurred. And there it is moving towards the northwest on the forecast. Believe it or not, more intensification is possible and it could reach winds of 195 miles per hour later on today and then move off towards the north and gradually weaken. It could still be a strong typhoon by the time it reaches Japan. It will have a higher chance of striking as a stronger storm the further south it goes. If it goes up towards Tokyo, it will probably be rapidly weakening by the time it gets there due to low sea surface temperatures. Chances of tropical storm force winds then look like this, still 93% at Saipan, 92 at Tinian, 19 at Rota, 5 at Guam, and now a 37% chance at Moroto on the island of Shikoku. Also, don't forget the storm size will massively increase when the storm moves towards Japan, so that's something else to watch out for. And this is what the models are saying, hopelessly far behind on the intensity stakes. Uh, but still, they're all saying that it could intensify some more today. Wind shear is going to be low to moderate, 10 to 15 knots, depending which model you believe. Then it will drop again. Sea surface temperatures at its peak right now, around 30 degrees Celsius on there. 29 to 30 degrees, it will likely start to decrease a little bit. Relative humidity very high. Prime conditions for this storm, which I must say has some characteristics rather similar to Hurricane Wilma, although it doesn't quite look as good as that storm. The eye temperature not quite as high, just a few degrees off, and same too with the cloud top. So that's why we've put the storm at 185, 180 sorry, miles per hour, could be 185 very soon, and an estimated pressure of 896. Remarkable pinhole eye appearance, about to move through those islands. Eye temperature up to around 18 degrees Celsius, and a huge eye wall all around that eye with a great structure. We'll have more updates on this storm throughout the night tonight. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com. You can also find our YouTube channel if you're not there already. You may well be. Good chance of that. Subscribe if you haven't. You can also find our Facebook page, search Force 13 all in text, and our Twitter handle, it's at Force 13 on there. You can also help the project become even better by becoming a patron. You can see more information about all the benefits involved by visiting patreon.com forward slash force 13. With a special thanks to these people for being our most valued patrons this month. You can also check out our growing merch store so you can show force 13's colors wherever you go. You can also find a link to our discord server underneath this video in the description.